I thought, this is not good. This is really not good. When, when he scored the first goal, uh, I say to myself, of course we can beat them. Oh, I got crazy. I got crazy. I know he went up to the crowd pretending to rock a baby because I think he, his wife just had a baby. And I remember that distinctly. I was thinking, oh, never. One nil down and I think, what, ten minutes gone? Anyway, he says, all right, that's England, we're out now. Because, like, you know what England are like, they, <laughs> they can mess it up straight away. It was early in the game, so we knew we had time to get back into the game. That, that, that was the uh, uh, good thing about it. It would have been a different story if it was like, you know, 85, 86 minutes to, gone and, you know, he had a few minutes to go. When the match restarted, England played to the limit, constantly probing to find cracks in the Argentine defence. A few minutes later, Owen's running with the ball. And like, when, whenever we're running with the ball, everyone's sitting with the friends and family, like, going crazy. And Owen with a little bit of space and two to his right. This is Michael Owen. He goes down and that's a penalty. What happened was that the Argentinian player tried just with a small push to bring Owen out of his run, uh, to disturb his run. And it was the reason for the penalty. Maybe the ref realized he made a mistake on the Argentinian penalty and uh, he was waiting for the time someone from England had a chance to uh, get a fault in the, in the box, Argentinian box, to, to whistle a penalty as well. Um, no, I mean, in my opinion, the Argentine one was a penalty and the English one wasn't. I mean, I think Owen is a, Owen's a diver. I mean, by, of world-class proportions. Um, but of course, it, at that time, it was politically incorrect to say so. Dive or not, the penalty was awarded, and up stepped England's captain, Courageous. Well, it is a pressurised situation, believe it or not, and you do feel uh, do feel one or two nerves then, and I'd be lying if I said otherwise. Um, but you, you've got a chance to, to make a name for yourself, and you've got a chance to put your name in a little bit of history. How England need it now. It's Shera, and it's 1-1! Shearer bangs it away, superb. Crowd were up again, went crazy. I was ecstatic because I, you know, I, I thought it was paying them back for 1986 with uh, Maradona. such a big game and you know that you haven't started that well and you're 1-0 down and you, you really do need that and it, you know, when, it, when it goes in it, you know, it's such relief, it really is. <laughs> On equal terms again, England took the initiative and pushed forward. They were led in a tank by England's youngest ever striker, 18-year-old Michael Owen. You could see the fear of the Argentinian players every time Michael got the ball because he was absolutely destroying them with his pace. And, and the coach, um, Passarella, was out on the touchline uh, and he, scratching his head, didn't have a clue how to combat young Michael that day. Then, with only 16 minutes gone, came one of the most glorious moments in English football.
he scored that goal, everybody just thought, what would we do without him? He's brilliant. I went with my brother, he's exactly the same age, you're thinking, my brother, he can't kick a football to save his life, and then Mark Ryan scored the, one of the best goals in the World Cup ever. Beckham got the ball, poked it through to Owen. Owen, great first touch, and then there was no stopping him. He just went past two defenders as though they weren't there. And we thought that was brilliant, but his finish was just unbelievable. Probably one of the highest moments I've ever had watching England, if not the highest. It was almost like a supernatural experience. I mean, that doesn't happen in World Cups. The last time a teenager made such an impact on a World Cup was Pele, the greatest player of all time in 1958. So uh, it, it was something special, not just because of the goal, which would have been a great goal had Maradona scored it, which he would have been proud to have done, but because it was scored by our 18-year-old. In just 25 steps, Michael Owen guaranteed himself a place in the history books and in the hearts of the nation. We started shouting and he came running across towards where all the friends and family were sitting like this holding his hands like this. It was, it was a moment I'll just never forget. You know, he, he scored such a fantastic goal. I mean, I was, I was so proud. You know, I think everybody was proud of him, you know, um, just for that one moment. It proved that the boys got nerves of steel, ice cold. So many players in that sort of situation, they kind of pulse rate shoots up and they kind of freeze and they think, my God, I'm going to score and it's easier not to. But it shows what a cool customer he is, and of course it made him a superstar there and then. When, when we'd gone ahead 2-1, I, th I was convinced then that there was no way back for the Argentines, and, you know, and that we would end up uh, convincing winners. Argentina, who hadn't conceded a goal in their previous eight matches, had just let in two in six minutes but they were not a team who would give in easily. What followed in the remaining first half was some of the most compelling football ever. Paul Ince, well struck! And here's Paul Scholes arriving! What a good chance! It was a turning point in the game for me when we were 2-1 up and Paul Scholes missed what for him was a simple chance. And had he scored to make it 3-1, I think we would have gone on to win the game easily because the Argentinians were petrified of Owen and 3-1, they, they wouldn't have come back and our confidence was so high at that point. The crowd was kept on tenterhooks as the pendulum swung back and forth. Each attack was followed by counter-attack. But if England could hang on to their one-goal lead into half-time, they would gain a major psychological advantage. I thought it was finished. 2-1, end of the story. Come back, everybody happy. Really, to be honest, I, I was sure about this. And I make a big mistake. 